In this video, we'll introduce orthogonal vectors. If we're in R2 or R3, we have an intuitive understanding of what it means to talk about angles. In higher dimensions, you can no longer visualize these things so easily. But we have the following formula as a theorem in R2 and R3, and we can state it as a definition in higher dimensions that the dot product of two vectors is the norm of the first vector times the norm of the second vector times the cosine of the angle between the vectors. Not really interested in going into a proof of this here, although there is one in the notes. It comes from the law of cosines. What's that mean for us? It helps us answer the question. If a dot product is zero, what does that mean? I mean, we certainly don't have any kind of zero product property for dot products. But what this says is for the dot product to be zero, this product has to be zero. And since the norms of non-zero vectors aren't zero, that tells us that the cosine is zero. And when is a cosine zero? The cosine of an angle is zero if that angle is 90 degrees or you know, something that has 90 degrees as its reference angle. So if the dot product is zero, we can informally understand that to mean, I say informally, but it's pretty much true. I mean, it's the correct interpretation. that a dot product is zero if and only if the vectors are at a 90 degree angle to each other in this case, the vectors U and V 
are called orthogonal. We'll spend much of the rest of this course discussing orthogonal vectors in various contexts.